Welcome to Five Good Minutes. You're listening to today's inspirational message on the book of Galatians with Kurt Bjorklund. In Galatians chapter 4, verse 8, he says this, Formerly, when you did not know God, you were slaves to those who by nature are not gods. But now that you know God, or rather are known by God, how is it that you're turning back to those weak and miserable forces? Do you wish to be enslaved by them all over again? You are observing special days and months and seasons and years. I fear for you that somehow I wasted my efforts on you. And so here his his take is that your freedom is under attack because you're going back to these ritualistic observations of special days. And as a result, what you're doing is you're, in essence, returning to slavery. So when you take this with verses one through seven, returning to slavery means a reliance on ritual for your standing with God and a reliance on rules for your standing with God. So ritual is anything that you look to and say, because I do this, because I observe this, or I have observed this, therefore I have standing with God. And rules, uh, we talked a little bit about this yesterday, is, is this idea that because I obey or I do these things, not necessarily rituals, but I keep the standard, therefore I'm good with God. And the reason this is slavery, ultimately, is because of our inability to keep the rules and the bondage that we might feel to rituals along the way, rather than the freedom that comes from being completely um, in tune with, with, with Christ. Now, this is a concept that can quickly become, well, wait a second, does it mean that there's no such thing as holiness? There's no such thing as a standard. There's no thing that, that, that is required from God for those who have come to faith in Jesus Christ. And Paul's answer to that in Romans uh, is basically, God forbid, he says in uh, Romans chapter 6, when that question is almost posed verbatim. He says, that may it never be. That, that's a horrible thought, a horrible understanding. What he, I believe, is, is pointing to ultimately is this notion that says my actual status comes from what I do rather than from Jesus And when that happens, the lack of freedom is then we have to either in our own minds lie a little bit about it, even to ourselves, or we have to somehow lower the standards so that we feel like we get over. I mentioned yesterday that I've over the years made a lot of exercise plans for myself, and it's It's funny to me to watch myself once I do that, because what I will sometimes do is I will go in and I'll cross out what I had planned and then I'll write down what I actually did. Now, which is fine, especially in an exercise plan to say, ah, that's what I did. But what is that? That is, uh, I can't keep it. I'm reducing the standard. The other thing that's interesting to me is how sometimes I'll, I'll get close to the workout that I wanted to do and I'll cross it off as if I did it, even though I didn't actually do it, at least not to the extent that it was written. And then I'll say, oh, well, you, you know, that was, that was close. That, that was pretty good. And it's, nobody else ever sees these things. I'm, I'm misrepresenting it to myself. And that is where there's no freedom when we transfer that kind of thinking to our spiritual life. And instead of being able to say, yeah, I didn't do that the way that I could have or should have. And that's exactly why Jesus died. He died for my failures. He died so that God would see Jesus and not me in those moments. And that's why there's freedom there and there's slavery when we try to keep going back to to the law. And again, what's profound kind of on the other side of this is is this notion, this has been floating around, quoted by several people. Uh, I think Richard Loveless was, was one of the first ones to kind of point this out, at least he's one who's often quoted. And, and his thing was, it's amazing basically how many professing Christians 
have their assurance resting on their sanctification, not their justification. And, and his point was we say, yeah, 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 I'm saved by grace through faith. It's all Jesus' work. But the way I really know that God is pleased with me isn't because of the finished work of Christ, but it's because of uh, how well I didn't sin today, how well I followed the teaching of Christ today, um, how, what I did in terms of my rituals today. And our freedom comes in going back to the justifying work of Jesus, not the sanctifying work of God in us. Although obviously sometimes that can be an evidence. So my question today is, what are you looking to, to give you a sense of status with Jesus Christ? And if it is rituals and rules, you will not feel free. Thanks for joining us here today. There's a lot of great content to explore on Orchard Hill Plus and on the Orchard Hill main feed from the weekend. Have a great day.